Hey YouTube, welcome back to my backyard right here, just peeling barbecue. I'm on my back porch today. I'm gonna do probably a short video. Uh, I would probably think it's gonna be short. Um, not gonna do a whole lot of talking today. I've got a tri-tip that I found at the grocery store. Um, and now this tri-tip is a pre-seasoned tri-tip. And normally I don't buy pre-seasoned meat. Um, I just find that it doesn't really taste as good as if I put my own seasonings on it. Um, but this tri-tip was only $4, so it was hard to pass up, but I think what I'm going to do with it is, um, I think I'm going to wash that pre-seasoned, pre-marinade off as much as I can, pat it dry, then I'm going to apply my own seasonings to it, um, and then I'm going to put it on the Grill of Silverback. I'm going to use Grill of Grills, uh, Competition Blend, Oak, Hickory, and Cherry. I'm going to run it at 225 until it reaches an internal temperature of 110 degrees. Then I'm going to pull it off and wrap it, um, let it rest while I get my searing station ready. Now today my searing station is going to be my Watchman stove. And if any of you haven't seen my Watchman stove, I've got five other videos on my channel you need to go check out because it's a great piece of equipment as well. I don't have grill grates to go on my uh, my silverback, my pellet smoker. So, and I could crank the silverback up to 500 degrees and probably just sear them on my regular grill grates that come with the silverback. But I know without a doubt the way I'm going to do it on the uh, Watchman stove that it's going to sear it up nice. So after I get it smoked on the silverback, get up to 110 degrees, I'm going to take it over to the Watchman stove sear it off hopefully to an internal temp of about 135 140 then i'm going to pull it off and uh that's going to be done so uh i hope i've covered most of the details if you have any other questions about it leave me a comment in the description box below and i'll uh, get back to you and answer any questions that you may have and also uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up leave me a comment if you hadn't already uh please subscribe to my channel Check out my Amazon affiliate links in the description below um, and just enjoy the video. It's Friday afternoon. It's been a long week. So I'm fixing to grill. I'm fixing to uh, sip a little bit. I'm fixing to listen to some good tunes and uh, just enjoy the nice afternoon. Uh, and I'm glad you came along with me. <laughs> All right, folks, I just put the uh, tri-tip on. Um, but one thing I want to tell you is this is why I'm glad that I did what I did with washing off that uh, that pre-marinade or that pre-seasoning on that tri-tip. Um, and I'll show you a picture right here of what I'm talking about. All that fat, connective tissue, and all that stuff was hidden underneath that seasoning and marinade that thing was covered with huge peppercorns a lot of marinade sauce and when i washed it you could not see all of that stuff um before i washed it off when i washed it off it was covered with that fat that sinew connective tissue silver skin so i'm glad i did that because all that was hidden under that seasoning and that marinade so I would highly recommend uh, not buying a pre-seasoned, pre-marinated piece of meat. Um, but if you do, I would I would wash it off and um, and kind of inspect it and see what's going on there, and then you can season it yourself and know what seasonings 
went on it. Uh, now again, the reason why I bought it was the tri-tip was only $4. And after I do some, a couple of, I, I'm gonna do a zucchini squash and onion, 10 full packet. And I'm gonna do a uh, diced red potato and onion, 10 full packet. With those two uh, vegetable packets and the tri-tip, I'm gonna have less than $10 in a meal that's going to feed four of us so you can't really beat that um after i cut all that stuff off it was a pretty good piece of meat so uh just wanted to throw that in there and kind of give you that tip something All right, so we're through with the cook. I've been letting the tri-tip rest for about 20 minutes or so, and now we're fixing to cut into it. Now I put it on the silver back uh, at 225 degrees until it got up to 110 degrees internal. Pulled it off, wrapped it in tinfoil, and let it rest while I got my charcoal ready in my chimney. There's probably three quarters of a chimney full of Royal Oak lump charcoal. And then I put it in my watchman stove Flipped the grill grate over, got it hot, and then I seared the uh, tri-tip off on it and got it up to an internal temperature of 135 in the thickest part. Now, toward the thinnest part where the tip is, it was probably up to 155, 160 degrees, but then in the thickest part, it's around 135, probably now since it's rested, maybe 140, uh, but you're gonna have a range of temperatures so that you kind of satisfy satisfy everybody's taste. Uh, so now we're fixing to cut into it, see what it looks like. Now the grain pretty much on the whole thing um, is running this way. Some of them run a little bit different. Sometimes a tri-tip runs two different directions. Uh, but we're fixing to go ahead and slice this up. I'm gonna slice it up this way. It was very tender. Nice juice. And this is more of a, probably a medium well. And now we're getting into a little bit more medium. A 
looks like most of it is going to be probably about medium. The cat seems to like the smell of it. A little grilling buddy. I'm going to get a piece right down here in the thick of it. Cut me a piece off. And there you go. Reverse here, try tip, nice and tender. Beautiful beef flavor. I gotta tell you, you can still taste some of that pre-marinade stuff, but I'm glad I took it off and added that rub of my own on the outside of it. Excellent. Give this a try. Grill a silver back and the Watchman Stove. Give both of them a look on my uh, channel. Give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll be piddling. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my Just uh, 